What's up, Cock Gang? Welcome back to some dynamics. So we got this problem here. It's a crate going down this slope defined by y is equal to an eighth of x squared. And our goal is to find the acceleration in the direction of the crate's velocity at x is equal to three. And we're given velocity and acceleration at that time. So let's go ahead and get started, right? Uh, what's our first goal gonna be? How about, let's, let's go ahead and start with the easy part, which is gonna be the direction of the crate's velocity. So if we're gonna find the direction, we're trying to find an angle, right? So let's go ahead and draw out a little triangle. So how about this triangle here? So we got this is our theta, and this is the theta we're solving for. And by the similarity of triangles or whatever, it's gonna be this theta is the same. So if we're solving for this theta, we're also solving for this theta. So we know that this is our velocity, right? This is our velocity vector, it's pointing downward this way. You can kind of see it, what it would look like in the graph. And what would these be? So we're taking this to be infinitesimal, right? We're taking it at the moment x is equal to three meters. So we can consider this dy as the change in vertical direction, and dx is the change in horizontal direction. And so if you make these two really small, we're gonna find that exact velocity angle. So let's uh, solve this, right? So if we're solving for theta, we have opposite and adjacent. So we wanna do tangent, right? So tangent of theta is equal to opposite or adjacent, so dy over dx. Okay, so then we do theta is equal to inverse tangent of dy dx, and dy dx is just the derivative of y here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and find dy dx. So dy dx is just the derivative, so let's bring that two down, so it's gonna be two over eight, or one over four, x. And if we find dy dx at x is equal to three, we're just gonna plug in a three, we're gonna three over four. So dy dx at x is equal to three is three over four, so we can plug that in here, three over four. So now our theta is the inverse tangent of three over four, and that will bring us to theta is equal to, uh, where is it, 36.9 degrees, and it'll be that kind of angle. All right, so there's part A. Let's go ahead and do part B, the harder part, right? Uh, we're trying the acceleration, right? So what acceleration? Well, let's see. So we're gonna use tangent and normal acceleration for this. We're gonna use that coordinate system because that's gonna make it a lot easier for us. Because when we're moving at an angle, it's kind of hard to find acceleration. So we're given that uh, acceleration is two meters per second squared down the hill, but that doesn't account for the acceleration that points normal to the curve, right? So if we're looking at this, of course we have an acceleration going two meters a second here, but because we're on a curve, there's also a normal acceleration going upward. And that's basically what we need to solve for. So we know a tangent, which is the acceleration in this direction, is just equal to two meters per second squared. And we need to find the acceleration normal. A normal acceleration is um, an equation we can solve. It's gonna be v squared over the radius of curvature. So velocity squared, we're given velocity six meters a second, but we don't have radius of curvature yet, so that's what we need to solve for in this case. So the radius of curvature equation is equal to one plus dy dx squared to the three halves over the second derivative of dy dx. So luckily we already solved for dy dx, so we already have the numerator, but we just need to find dy dx, oh this is a squared. Okay, so let's take the second derivative of this, right? So d squared of y over dx squared, that's just equal to, get rid of the x, a fourth. So now we have everything we need to find the radius of curvature. Let's plug that in. So the numerator is gonna be one plus, and we said it's three fourths, so three fourths squared, all of that to the three halves. And now on the numerator, or the denominator, it's gonna be one over four. So when we do the math on this, you get that rho is equal to 7.8125 meters. So we can go back to this equation. Or should we solve that? Okay, we just solved that, so we can go back to this equation. Right, so let's plug in what we know, a n. Velocity squared, we're given six meters a second squared. Or so six meters a second, and then squared it over 7.8125. So if you do this, you need to get that acceleration normal is equal to 4.608 meters per second squared. So that's not what we're solving for. We need the magnitude of the acceleration. So if we want to find the magnitude of the acceleration, we're just gonna take 
the square root of the acceleration tangent squared, so 2 squared plus the tangent or the acceleration normal squared, 4.608 squared, and then you get that acceleration is that 5.02 meters per second squared. And there we go. So there's the two answers. We found the theta, the angle of the direction, and the acceleration at that moment. So yeah, it's a, this question's a little bit more tricky, but still it's just about using the equations and understanding acceleration tangent versus acceleration normal. So yeah, uh, any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, check out my playlist, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.